Hey guys, in today's video, I want to compare live minnows to some of these gulp minnows and see which one comes out on top, so stay tuned. Just get outside and do something awesome. So guys, I got some live minnows. I got two dozen live minnows here, and I've got these gulp. Uh, it's one inch minnows. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up two different rods. I'm kind of spider rigging today. So on the top, I've got a jig with just this pink and chartreuse. I am trying to locate these fish still. And so I've got the pink and chartreuse on a jig on top. And then on the bottom of that spider rig, I'm going to have one rod rigged up with a minnow on a hook. And the other is going to have one of these gulp minnows on a regular hook. So let's see how this plays out and see which one comes out on top go ahead and start putting stuff together i don't even know what the air temperature is let me ask siri hey siri what's the temperature right now all right so it's 25 degrees Woo, son i got ice in the kayak the water temperature has gone down quite a bit we've got uh the water temp is on the surface is 47 degrees so i think the last time i was out here it was around like uh, I think it was around like the mid or lower 50s is what it was at. So we've had a quite a bit of a drop in the water temperature. So hopefully it's driving these crappie a little bit deeper into some more of these winter patterns when they really group up. Um, if so, it's probably just starting. We're going to see what we can do here. Once I get my rods rigged up, I wasn't really sure what color jig I wanted to go with this morning. So we'll go with the old, one of my confidence colors here is this pink and chartreuse. This gulp stuff, do not get it on anything. It is the stinkiest stuff. Um, you know, I'll tell you one thing. If you're planning on going on a date or being around the female gender, I would not recommend, 10 out of 10 would not recommend this scent. For date night looks pretty realistic to me reel that one up so it doesn't get snagged while i'm rigging up the other rod put that in my spider rig holder here all right now let's get this other one rigged up with a live minnow we're going to get our depth right and then we'll go from there <laughs> That's probably a crappie right there. We're going to look. I want to find a good concentration of them before I really drop down. So, paying attention here. There's, there's probably, there's, I think that's some cover that I've marked before. So, we're looking at about. 15 feet so this is a 12 foot rod here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring down that egg sinker exactly to 12 foot the length of the rod now i'm just going to swing that back out there and if you look there my rod tips probably two foot out of the water so i'm guessing my bait is probably at about 10 foot so we're looking at about 15 foot here, so I'm gonna pull out a foot, 12, 13, 14. We'll just do 14 there. We'll do the same to this other rod here. So there's 10, or there's 12. I'll let that sink down there. And they're gonna do 13, 14, 15. All right, now boys, we're we are cooking with gas now. So we're just gonna watch these rod tips and looking for action while we kind of troll around here. All right, so the live minnow, we're gonna call that one Rocky Balboa, and he's on the right here, and on the left we got Ivan Drago from the Soviet Russia. And we're about to have a battle here to see which one comes out on top. Now for a message from our sponsors during this epic battle. Best part of waking up. 
This forges in your cup. Oh, got a bite. Oh, man. Something tried on Rocky Balboa. Rocky Balboa got a hit. Oh. Oh, Ivan. Ivan Drago scores one for Mother Russia. It's a little one. All right, we got one for Soviet Russia. Comrade has scored a very baby crappie. Very nice. Like Russian slash Borat. I don't know what's going on here. There's one. That is a baby. All right, on that little gulp minnow. So, <clears throat> all right, to make that fair, I did have a bite on the real minnow, like right before. So, I probably just missed one, but first fish landed is on the gulp minnow. Let's get it back out there. All right, so we're just watching these rod tips here as we kind of go over some of this cover here. Oh, I got somebody coming in, I think. We got somebody coming in. Oh man, I don't know what that is. Catfish. Well, not what we're shooting for here, but he freaking hammered that sucker on the live minnow. He is dancing and driving over here. Buddy, I'm not looking for you. Stinky old thing. We'll let that little catfish go. Freaking hammered that sucker. That was probably that fish I saw on the sonar. All right, so after that catfish, I decided to retie because little known secret amateur hour over here when i in my tired state um i missed the last eye on my spider rig rod when i was rigging everything up early early this morning because i was pretty tired so i'm gonna go ahead and retie get through that last tip top guide so that everything is the way that it's supposed to be we'll get back in the water here I got a fish. You know, he's just hanging out with it, man. Uh-oh, we got another one for Rocky Balboa. Rocky Balboa back on the board. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought I had a bite on. That's a decent little guy. That's probably about nine inches, my favorite size out here. Oh. Yeah, nine and a half or ish. Well, a little over. Yeah, nine and a half. We'll call it. All right, let's get her back out there. We're gonna give Rocky this Rocky Balboa another chance here and see if he can come back in another round. This is a little tangled here, so we'll make sure that we're as fair as can be here. Give him. Plenty of a good chance. Right, we're gonna float back up through this little spot here. Well, I got snagged, but Rocky Balboa got one again. We're gonna let that one kind of hang out there while we try to get this off without breaking off no oh, praise god i got it off still no giants barely look at that barely have that one hooked so at this point guys i chose to go ahead and end the challenge and the reason why is just because the fish haven't bunched up really a lot yet um, when i shot this video um, as far as my scientific method goes um, i chose to do spider rigging just because i felt like that was the most fair i mean you have two jigs or two lures basically at the same depth but I think next time what I'm going to do is just do hooks with the baits on them. So I'm going to do one 
with just the gulp minnow and one with the live minnow but if you have any um, suggestions or anything leave them down in the comments below so I will be doing this again and I plan on doing it once the fish are grouped together a little bit better and I have a little bit better concentration of fish they seem to be more concentrated around wood cover and I was constantly getting snagged whenever I was trying to spider rig and I couldn't just spider rig there. over the wood cover. I had to be down in it to catch these Seems fish really like I caught this cover here. here so. There we go. That's a little bit better quality fish. Let's see here. Finally, I got a keeper dropping down on a group of fish there. So about that on time. Been a little frustrating because I've been catching all these small fish, but they just seem to be like really tight to cover. So the spider rigging thing just isn't working too good. And then we got all this, uh, all this wind coming in here. So, Hey guys, thanks for watching. And if you made it this far, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you don't feel like I bring enough value to where you'd want to subscribe, please comment below and let me know how I could do that. But as always, guys, don't forget, get outside, do something awesome, take somebody with you if you get a chance, and I'll see you guys in the next video.